Chef Anthony here today at Dawn's Appliances, bringing you some pizza dough etiquette, how's what, kind of every step I do to make this pizza dough and really, actually I don't make it, I buy it, actually to prepare it. So first step is the night before I take it out in the bag, put it in the refrigerator and on a shelf, go to sleep, you know, take my eight hours, get up in the morning, I want to take this dough out of the fridge because it's at a controlled temperature, you know, 40 degrees, and I want to put it on my counter. In the bag still. We don't need it skinning or anything like that. Keep it in the bag till we're ready to use it. So say that was 8.30 in the morning, okay? Now it's 2.30, 3 o'clock, I'm ready to make the pizza. I take it out of the ball. I take the ball out of the bag and I put it on a sheet tray like this, cookie sheet, something with just a little grease on the bottom just so it doesn't stick. And then I let it bench ferment, so it bench proof. So it's gonna really double in size and it's gonna get a skin on it. Notice there's no water on this dough. It's very nice. So from last night, fast forward all the way to where we're at now. This is way we wanna stretch it. So now it's the stretching. We wanna flour it, obviously on both sides. Get a good amount of flour and we wanna start pressing it. Dock it like this. Kinda of stretch it into our round form. Stretch it like this, use gravity. See how we're doing it? Gravity just keeps it. If we're just gonna go like this, it's always gonna be round. Here's another thing, we don't wanna work it too much. If you work the dough too much, you get holes in it, things like that, that's no good. You just gotta learn and really feel. When it starts to get tough, stop doing that motion you're doing and you know start with something else to really get it nice and thin. Another thing, this is gonna make one large pizza. If you wanna make a smaller one, cut these in half ahead of time. So when I take it out of the refrigerator, when I take it, when I let it sit on the counter in the morning at 2.30 when I take it out of the bag, then I will cut these in half and make a nice form ball. You really wanna make sure you get a nice form ball like this just so there's no air pockets and it doesn't dry out. Really, that's why all of them you see are round and smooth. Okay, little olive oil on that doesn't hurt. So look at that. See how it's starting to get a little wet right here? I'll just flip it. I'll use the cutting board to get all this flour up just so nothing's sticking. Now that I got it pretty much docked, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stretch it just like this. Use your knuckles and here's, I'll do it in the air. Here's what I wanna do. I never use my nails. You use your nails, you're gonna rip through it. You wanna use your knuckles and just go left to right and spread it out. That's the perfect way. That, that. See how much it's expanding without breaking. I can almost see my fingers in there. That's how I know we're getting it nice and thin. Then I'll step back with the camera here. You take it with your knuckles, you lead with one hand to toss this. So my hand will go right and my arm will go left. Just like that, okay? It's a quick and easy way to toss it. Nice and easy again. The tossing it really, you know, it's, it's, it's for show too, but it does help stretch that dough very nicely. Once you get better at it, you get better practice. You know, I've dropped a ton of pizzas, but you don't see that. <laughs> so to me, this is ready. I'm gonna add just a dusting more flour. And personal preference right now, I'll let it sit minute, two minutes, just to have the dough relax and come back before I top it or sauce it or grill it or you know whatever application I'm gonna do. Just let it sit a minute, let that dough relax. Dough's rested enough, we're gonna take this right to the grill. We're gonna grill it on both sides, probably two minutes on each side. It's around 550 to 600. We'll get it nice and crispy and then we'll come back and top it. All right, we're gonna flip it. Get right under there. Give it a good flip right over. And we'll position it right back to the center. Rotate it a little bit, okay? Pizza's ready. This looks good, perfect. Take it to the board. 
All right, let's top this pizza. Our San Marzano tomato mixture right here. Looks great. Spread it out towards the edges. Make sure there's no bare spots. Nice. Now top it with our cheese. Looks good already. Great. Take a little bit of our fresh basil. Just tear this. A couple nice pieces here. Whew. This looks great. All right, little drizzle of olive oil at the end here. Wonderful. This is gonna go back on your grill for five minutes till the cheese is melted, everything's fully cooked. Let's take it there now. Put it on the center of the grill. We've shut down the center burners and just left the side burners on so we get heat on each side coming up, but not heat directly on. Close the lid, five minutes. Look what we have here. Nice margarita pizza. Hear that crunch? Great. Look, beautiful. It's hot, hot, hot. That's hot, but it's excellent. Fresh sauce, fresh basil, cheese, done on your grill in seven minutes. So enjoy this, make this, eat pizza, grill something.